All right, this is about three pounds of um, the Telluride, from what I was told, and it's it's in H2O2, and we're just going ahead and letting it react. We put it inside this bucket just so that um, if there was any spillover, we'd be able to to protect it. So uh, anyway, that's what this is. All right, we've just re we just stirred it up again. And so, as you can see, it's still kind of a golden brown. And um, we'll wait for it to quit working, and then we'll go ahead and put the HCL in it. And sometime tomorrow, I'll make a button. So, all right, okay, bye. Just so you can see, it is smoking. So, it's heating it up pretty good. Um, and uh, it's breaking everything loose. So when all this stuff all goes away, we will be able to put the hydrochloric in, in there and we should have a nice uh, gold chloride come out out of this. All right, but that's the reaction. It hasn't changed any. As you can see, it's smoking to beat the band. So it's reacting and it's reacting good. So, well, we put the hydrochloric acid in it, the HCl, and you can see it's turning into a nice golden colored chloride. So as soon as this stops, we will uh, drain it off and uh, filter it so that we'll have a clear liquid and then tomorrow uh, we'll actually drop the sponge. So, or I may do it later today, I don't know yet. Uh, it's getting kind of late, so anyway, that's what it looks like at the moment. Okay, this is the chloride we dropped the zinc strips in, so we're, uh, this is that three pounds about of uh, Telluride ore, supposedly, so we just now put the zinc strips in it so you can see what it's doing. All right, this is the sponge from the so-called Telluride ore, and it's 71 grams. Uh, 71 grams and we're going to put it in a duction furnace and see what we come up with. Alright, bye. Okay, these are the BBs that we got out of it and it is 0.11 grams. That's the BBs, so uh, that came out of this uh, three pounds of Telluride ore, so approximately. Alright, okay, bye.